Sound design. Yeah. All right, so what's the difference between minimum phase, maximum phase, and linear phase? This is a question that I asked Michael John from Eclipse Audio during our interview that I published a week ago, and so I thought I'd just talk through that in a short video. So I asked him this question, and he explained to me that uh, minimum phase filters impart the least amount of delay maximum phase filters do the opposite, and linear phase filters can basically um, make any EQ changes um, without adding any delay, so no change to the phase. Over here in FIR Creator, I can show you those differences. So down here in this bottom window, we've got the phase before the adjustment and the phase after the adjustment. So Right now they're on top of each other. I insert this big filter and we see a corresponding change to the phase here, and that is minimum phase behavior. Uh, now I can switch that to maximum phase and you'll see the phase jump to the opposite side, basically. It just kind of flips like a mirror image. So here's minimum phase again. Here's maximum phase, you can see it flip. And then here's linear phase, so no change. I can. Uh, turn this off and on and there's no change to the phase, turn this filter off and on, no change to the phase. The thing to keep in mind here is that for live sound, we'll often be sticking to these minimum phase filters because that allows us to then export this filter with no pre-delay if we're using only minimum phase uh, behavior filters and then we can um, have something that is very low delay that we're implementing into our sound systems. So I hope this helps you with your understanding of these different kinds of filters. Let me know what questions come up for you, and um, if you think I got anything wrong, let me know as well. I'm always trying to improve my understanding of these topics. Thanks. Sound design. Yeah.